Hello Bampton fans and welcome to this Mizuno 40s Bampton Racket Review. Today we have the 40s 50 Spirit and the 40s 50 Swift Bampton Rackets. These rackets are probably going to sell for around 109 to 119 pounds. We may sell them, we're not 100% sure yet, but they certainly are available in Asia, otherwise impossible to get hold of them in Europe at present. The design of these rackets is absolutely fantastic. I love how they've got a matte stroke gloss finish, particularly on this Swift racket here. I'm not sure you can see that in the camera, it's sort of blue and then black on the other side. Really, really impressed with that. And, and the 50 Spirit also really, really decent racket. Have a right, so specs of these rackets then. So let's have a look at this. So, so the 50 Spirit, is a 4U racket and the 50 Swift is a 5U racket, both G5 gripped. Okay, so the weight, 4U and 5U. The flex is stiff on the Swift. It says it's stiff shaft and on the Spirit, it's flexible. Maximum string tension on both rackets is a 30 pounds string tension. And the balance on the rackets is on the Spirit sort of lean towards the head, whereas this diagram here shows the Swift is significantly more head bias. Right, is there any other information that could be of help to you guys? Just having a quick look. Doesn't say where it is. Oh, made in Taiwan. That is the Swift and the Spirit 2 is made in Taiwan. As we know, Taiwanese manufacturing is absolutely world class. So. In that respect, you do not need to worry about anything. Right, I'm going to put these down for a second and quickly show you the E-Zone specs. Let's bring them up on the screen. So the 50 Spirit, swing weight 88 grams, the Swift 85 grams. The stiffness of the Spirit is slightly stiffer than the Swift, but not by a lot. The weight, the Spirit significantly more heavy by six grams and the balance point there or thereabouts the same. Now, how do these rackets perform? Let's get to business, people. We are talking about overhead shots. In this area, 4U or 5U, just a little bit too hard, a little bit too tricky. We are lazy clearers at Bound Tracking View. We do not like to put effort into clears because we do so many of them. So we really want clear to be about that. That's the kind of level of clear effort we want to put in. And if a racket requires us to go into a smash kind of scenario where we're having to sort of clear doing that, that's too much effort and energy and you're going to tire yourself out. Again, same with the backhand. Really, you should be looking at a fairly short and sharp backhand action. If you're having to over extenuate it, it's going to make lead to mistakes. It's going to lead to maybe issues in your arms. I'm not really a fan of that. So both of these rackets are a little bit tricky in that area. Right, defensively speaking, we found that the Spirit, the 4U racket, surprisingly, we found it to be the easier one to get behind yourself. And even now, it just feels so nimble and quick in my hand. It found it to be ex excellent in the defensive area. So lifting off a smash, driving off a smash, blocking. The Spirit was the one that we thought was slightly better. The Swift good but not quite as good as the spirit now, in terms of drive that is where these rackets really did excel they just are absolutely so lightning quick in this area it's crazy just bang 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 you feel so much confidence with the four you all the five you just absolutely ferocious at driving so much confidence so much getting to the shot no matter how hard it's hit you kind of see, you feel yourself getting the shuttle back so in control and direction of the shuttle all of it brilliant in the drive area absolutely superb smash power on these rackets is somewhat sublime it's not amazing even for the biggest more powerful players you know i'm just kind of average and sort of smash power there are people with some super duper smashes out there even those guys i would not recommend it if you are a big smasher and that is what you rely on these rackets probably not the best for you kind of guys average smash speeds pressure is there but it's not going to win rallies control is superb absolutely superb. both these rackets whether you're at the back of the court dropping in trying to get tight slices 
try drops in, you know, you're out of reach of having to stretch, you still manage to maintain these level of control. And if you're at the net, doing all the, you know, fine control stuff, really quick and easy to pick up and get used to. Other information that you might find helpful on these rackets, the Spirit was the one that we felt had the better repulsion. So again, the Spirit here, if you're in a short, you want to do a, you know, a lot of players like to do a, a little hold and a flick, you know, just a hold and flick. Whatever it is, a short, sharp action, you need repulsion off the shuttle when you're doing that. And we found that the Spirit was just that little bit better than the Swift. Overall, to pick up and play, these, these rackets will take time. They're not pick up and play easy to get on with rackets, certainly from the overhead perspective. They will take some time to get used to. So don't expect to walk on court and think, oh my God, I'm in love. It's probably gonna take a little bit longer than, than that. Do we recommend these rackets? It's a thumbs down for singles, definitely not suitable for singles. Uh, the clear in itself it takes, takes too long and the smash power should be better for a singles player. For doubles, we are gonna give them the thumbs up. Yes, they do not smash well, but they do a lot of other stuff really, really well, particularly the control drive and de uh, defense, big part of the game. Um, so yes, clears and, def and smash should be better, but I still think these are worth trying in the doubles arena. They are pretty impressive in that respect. Now, I hope you found that information helpful. Do not disappear right now. We are giving away the Venom 2 10 to give away. End date is the end of April 2022. All you need to do is sign up to the uh, eZone, which is free of charge, and get two of your friends to sign up to. Send us that user information, the, the, your user information on the eZone to info at bamptonracketreview.co.uk and we will enter you into that competition and ship those rackets out for you free of charge with two free groups. Can't go wrong. Let's do it, people. In terms of everything else, the support has been absolutely magnificent. You lot are amazing. For every one person that doesn't like what we do, hates our opinion on stuff, thinks we're all full of crap, whatever they may think, 20 of you do, and that is brilliant. We're so, so, so pleased. We never expected to please every 100% of all people, but we're so surprised by how many people, how many small pockets of the world we're receiving information from. Thank you very, very much for that. And for those of you who have donated, thank you again for all the kind words we've received from live chat emails, from WhatsApp, Thank you very, very much. If you do want to get in touch with the team, you're better off WhatsApping us on plus four four seven four zero seven one three four one three two. Thanks again for all the love. We'll see you on the next video.